Now let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. We'll begin with a review at a fairly high level of the overall structure of the project, beginning with the PC main VI. Here we're creating the URL for the network stream writer endpoint. And I'm also initializing a front panel indicator. This property node indicates whether or not the remote endpoint is connected. And so that would be referring to the other connection on the real-time target. The main processing loop is based on an event structure. Each time the send button is clicked, this array of messages to send is written out one element at a time. When the stop button is clicked, negative one is sent out as the message and that signals the real-time target VI to close down its end of the network stream and stop. And this final loop waits for the remote endpoint to be destroyed. Now let's take a look at RT main that runs on our real-time target. This section displays all of the available IP addresses for the real-time target. Here we create the endpoint for the network stream in the main loop, we wait for elements to be received from the network stream, and then these are appended to a message display. Anytime the message integer is less than zero, we break out of that loop and then destroy the stream endpoint. Now let's get into the details of PC main. We begin by forming the URL for the remote network stream endpoint, and this is formed as the IP address of the remote target, and then uh, slash the name of the endpoint itself. Note that the endpoint must match the name that was defined in our team main. Here I'm initializing the indicator that shows whether or not the real-time target is connected. Now creating the network stream writer endpoint, we need to give it our own name. So this is the PC side, that's why I'm calling it PC writer. And you choose the maximum number of messages you'd like to be able to send at one time. Wire an example message to specify the data type. Now we have a reference to the network stream writer and we can check a variety of properties, quite a number of properties here and I'm uh, specifically looking at is connected. We took a look at this section of the code earlier in the video, but I want to draw your attention to this particular point especially. Zero milliseconds should be used for the timeout value, so that way the messages are transmitted immediately rather than uh, perhaps queuing them up. And again, I'm using the zero timeout to ensure that that negative one message is sent immediately. The property node indicates the connection status and I'm pulling that at 10 times per second. I'm also using the continue if true option as opposed to the default stop if true. Now let's move on to the details of RT main. In this first section, I'm using the string to IP function to show all of the available IP addresses for the real time target. The IP to string function converts the numerical value into a more human readable form, and I'm using the dot decimal notation. This also indicates the total number of available addresses. Here I'm initializing the main indicator for the received messages, and I'm using an invoke node for this purpose. I'll show you how this works. You say link to pane and then messages received and that's the name of your front panel indicator. And then I use the reinitialize to default option for that. This is similar to what we've discussed earlier in terms of creating a network stream reader endpoint. In the main loop, each time a message is received, this value becomes available right here and I'm concatenating that to an array of all previously received messages. And this is being displayed on the messages received indicator. The stop condition breaks us out of that loop and then we destroy the stream endpoint.
Let's wrap this up by locating the function subpalette. Do a right click and choose data communication. Looking for network streams and everything you need is located right here. You've got your create writer and reader, the write one and multiple elements, and finally the destroy stream endpoint.